It's come to my attention not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hey beautiful Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, Sagittarius, be sure to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with you guys, is through the comments, Sagittarius. And also, uh, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today, or you just enjoy my vibe, Sagittarius, I would really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to support me in that way Sagittarius but uh keep in mind as well I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you put it in perspective right so you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate Sagittarius and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever I believe the tarot cards are just here to give you some food for thought a perspective for you to consider Sagittarius but never making the decisions in your life that you make today or throughout the week because it's your life to live Sagittarius not mine and not these tarot cards so with all that being said, darling, let's get into your weekly tarot horoscope reading. All right, starting this off, Sagittarius, we're going to be pulling a angel card from my oracle deck, one of my many oracle decks, rather, darling, to see where you guys are currently at, what's going to be the theme of this week for y'all. Let's see here. So you guys, Sagittarius, got Tiferet, Heart the Beauty. I forget which other uh, zodiac sign got this this week. I think it may have been a uh, Cancer. Um... But Sagittarius, I like to show, up, show the imagery of the cards themselves because in this Oracle deck, uh, the imagery speaks a very powerful message along with what it represents as well. So with Tiferet, you know, I want to point out with the hole in your chest, right? This is obviously like the obvious sign of uh, looking to do a little bit of healing, uh, healing your heart chakra a little bit. So it's, so it's showing to me something probably this week is going to be a pretty heavy blow for you, Sagittarius. And also, darling, I just want to say it's still so hot in here, Sagittarius. It's over 100 degrees in Washington, darling. So if you see me sweating, honey, that's why. <laughs> no AC or nothing. Um, so yeah, continuing on with this, I do feel as if this is, I keep on hearing the word cleansing so and releasing. And so I do feel like for most of you Sagittarius, maybe this is me just trying to be optimistic. Obviously, of course, Saji, but I do kind of get this sense of where, um, perhaps I feel like this is like a one of those like uh, I don't know if bittersweet is the word for it, but just like it's one of those you know how your heart can break, but you know it's for the best. I feel like that's kind of like the best way I can describe this feeling that I'm getting is where it's like your heart is breaking in some capacity or where your chest feels empty, right? Um, and there's just like a hole there that just wasn't there before. It's kind of like a punch in the stomach. Um, but I feel like this is like a necessary, it's one of those growing pains, I feel. Six of Cups coming in here as well. So this is definitely something that you guys released that you had a long-standing connection with. So Sagittarius, I'm going to be honest here, darling. With this situation here, I know for your past previous readings, honey, uh, I've been kind of pushing or letting you guys know the message continuously came forward, Sagittarius, of where... There's essentially saying um, that there's a part of you, Sagittarius, that was clinging on to something from your past because you had a lot of history with it, right? And you're trying to have it relevant for your future, for your now. And I feel like some things have just kind of ran its course for you. And that's kind of been the messages that I've been trying to push to you, Sagittarius, recently, because that's how the cards have just been reflecting it, right? And so with the Six of Cups coming in here, this lets me know of a situation where it's like, I kind of feel like you're releasing this now, finally. And it's part of the reason why it's one of those bittersweet feelings, I feel. It's like, it leaves a hole in your chest, darling. But, you know, this comes in as a message, and you probably already know it as well, Sagittarius, in that um, this is only temporary. You're going to find something that fulfills you even more than what there, than what was there in the first place. For some of you guys, Sagittarius, you might be even willing to admit to yourself that some of this hole that you've been feeling inside was already there. Like, I feel like it's almost like a dead situation that you were kind of trying to breathe new life into. And I feel like you're finally moving on from it. So let's get some clarifiers for this Six of Cups, Sagittarius. Let's pull um, two. I see two. So Page of Cups coming in with the Magician card. So this is you, Sagittarius. You're letting go of stuff in the past, you know, because you're welcoming in new energy. As I said, you're making space for something new. Replacing the Six of Cups energy, this past energy. And then Page of Cups gives me the signifier here of a new person coming into your life, right? That's what the word, that's the meaning of this card in of itself, right? 
game, and then you paired it with the Magician card, Sagittarius. This is you actively manifesting this. This is almost like, I would even say, Sagittarius, you taking the steps towards um, bringing forth like new energy into your life. Some of you Sagittarius, this might be you guys, you guys might be finding yourself updating your resume and putting your resume out on like Indeed or something or on LinkedIn, right? Um, hoping to be scouted out more. I do feel this sense, Sagittarius, um, that you guys should be pushing yourself. Like I, I, I keep on getting this sense of where you guys need to push yourself more. Um, if you're noticing I'm blinking a lot, it's whenever I'm like receiving like a message and it's just trying to like hone in on it and it's just something that's really like bearing in there Sagittarius I feel like um update your resume um put yourself out there if you guys are content creators or possibly could create content Sagittarius put yourself out there because I do feel like the more work that you put in as the magician right because the magician Sagittarius is taking matters into their own hands to create their reality but this pairing like you're directly responsible for new energy coming into your life Honey, I like pet my cat, Tulip, and I put chapstick on right beforehand, Sagittarius. I'm just a mess now. Now I have her cat hair and everything. So <laughs> the readings must be done, honey. So yeah, take that as you will, Sagittarius. Let's close off this energy, though, with one last one. The Devil card. So now this Devil card comes in, and I may have to just clarify this a little bit more, darling. Because this Devil card, I almost initially want to see this as the thing that you need to release. Uh, so this could be, you know, if I, for my Sagittarius that were resonating with the message of where I get the sense that you need to put yourself out there, um, but more putting out your content, updating your resume or, you know, whatever, whatever way that looks like to you, Sagittarius. Um, I feel like this is what the issue is of that will slow it down. Now this double card could be attached to your six of cups where we're not necessarily, y'all know, I'm not trying to villainize nobody, right? That's not the last thing in my goal. Um, so the double card kind of can give this kind of content Darling. Um, but with the devil card, it's just more so like your blockage that's just not serving to your highest good. So whether it's your insecurity holding you back, um, or whether it's just clinging on to that old situation again, um, that's the thing that you need to work through before it kind of comes in um, as well. So whatever is stopping you from breaking and putting yourself out there, Sagittarius, I feel like you need to address that this week. Let's close. Let's get a couple more clarifiers for this devil card, though, just so you know I'm not speaking out of pocket. King of Pentacles and Four of Wands. Yeah, this is in the sense of where it's like stability here, but again, it's matter. The King of Pentacles is taking matters into your own hands to get to your Four of Wands, and this is what's blocking this directly. So I'd be bold enough to say it's in regards to your stability and like how you are handling things, right? You, as the King of Pentacles, is trying to get to the Four of Wands and create what you need to create to get there to build that bridge. This so devil comes in and to stop this. So. Yeah, I feel like you guys get the point, Sagittarius. So, beautiful, beautiful cards starting this out, darling, don't you think? So now, Sagittarius, let's uh, just get some more clarifiers on what it is that you should look out for this week. Just a heads up from Spirit, advice from Spirit. Now, this is where it's my favorite portion, Sagittarius, but I also might end up hurting your feelings a little bit because Spirit likes to really get the message across, right? They're not here to um, tell you what you want to hear. That's what Siri is for, darling, right? So starting this out, we have the Nine of Wands stepping forward for you, Sagittarius. So this Nine of Wands is a card of, you know, um, this is the what I was been saying. And I kind of, I mean, obviously plug, um, check out your past reading, Sagittarius. But this is part why I always was saying you need to release some baggage. You need to release something that you were trying to take on your Nine of Wands journey, Sagittarius. And I do feel like, again, it's just that getting more so just that affirmation. Like this is your time where it's like, Really, it's about you, Sagittarius. This time should just be all about you. And I, I may even just title your video that way, where I just say it's all about you today or this week, Sagittarius. Put all your focus, all your energy into um, your path, because I feel like this is just your... It feels like you guys are, are at a very pivotal point in your life of where it's like, depending, like, your life could just change in so many different ways now that you have, like, I almost feel like this new sense of found freedom. So let's pull a couple of cards. Let's get some clarifiers on this nine of wands. I'm seeing three, darling. So let's do three. So we have the six of swords, the five of pentacles inverted, as well as the eight of pentacles coming in here. So six of swords, Sagittarius is, you guys meet, um, this is the card of moving. <laughs> That's sweat, honey. 
<laughs> Told y'all it's hot, honey, but I gotta get these messages out to you, darling. Um, Six of Swords represents the moving on from something, whether it's you moving on from a physical space or moving on from that person that we're talking about, right? Um, I feel like it's like the more distance that you put with something, right? The more distance that you gain. Um, now I have a siren coming off randomly. Hello. <laughs> um, and that being part of your nine of wands journey, this is how you start getting out of this feelings, five of pentacles, or like, actually, this is a good card. Let me back up a little moment. Uh, Sagittarius, this heat is making me loopy, honey. Um, five of pentacles in the upright. That's when it's kind of like, ugh, this is an energy where you don't feel like you belong anywhere. Um, you know, general, I would say this is just like general anxiety over most things. So when it's inverted for you, once you have this distance, this is where it's kind of being relieved. You finally feel like you belong somewhere, almost, Sagittarius. Eight of Pentacles, this is almost this sense of where you guys are identifying like your, almost like a new journey that you want to go into, something that you've never considered before, right? Again, it just feels like, especially with this Eight of Pentacles confirming it, it feels like you could go into so many different new directions right now, now that you put distance um from that situation that we talk about right um for some of you guys Sagittarius I am getting that you probably have been uh getting signs of like maybe like a sp specific spiritual path right a sp specific uh how many times can I say that uh path to engage in whether it's like a left-handed path maybe it's Wiccan Wicca you know whatever Buddhism whatever your prerogative is I feel like you already have started getting signs to me like oh you should tap into that right and I feel like now again with this new sense of freedom you're going to lean into it further um but I do feel like this is something just out of your comfort zone out of your element for completely from normal because again of this nine of wands so let's close this out let's close out that pile king of swords in the reverse so the best thing that you need to do right now as Sagittarius is keep an open mind keep an open mind be be very hold yourself really accountable this week and where your mental is at even go through you even want to be bold enough to say sagittarius like and please listen to me even tap tap back into this video darling right for my sagittarius is that have me tapped out playing me having me playing the background get back over to your computer darling and look at me and ignore the sweat <laughs> uh sagittarius truly i feel like you need to go out of your way this week to put in the extra effort in holding your mental state accountable. So even when I, because this is like, I'm being real, like Sagitt I'm a Libra Sagittarius and Libras and Sagittarius is click like this, darling. So I know how to handle a Sagittarius. And plus we're all just human, honey. But I feel like, you know, everyone will say, it's like, oh, take a journal, journal your feelings, what have you, Sagittarius. I really do feel like you need to, you know, for most people, a lot of people, maybe they're just like, ah, oh, that's so extra. I don't need to do that. I can just do it all internally. No, I really feel like you need to write out your experiences this document Sagittarius what it is that you're feeling now thoughts that you're having each day take a moment to just document even if it's just like literally I don't feel like enough people talk about this Sagittarius um just taking like a phone and recording yourself and just updating it and you can have like your own personal private YouTube where you upload it privately no one sees it but just for yourself right I feel like it's important for you to express your thoughts and feelings for I don't know. I do feel like there's some relevancy, whether it's like something that's going to be healing for you now or something to look back on in the past, in the future, rather. Um, I feel like it's kind of important for you. And it's just a message just coming in, Sagittarius. So now, darling, let's get into the good things now, Sagittarius. Now that we went through all of that, honey, let's get into some good stuff that's in the works for you. Saging. So the cards already came flying out, the four cards, so let's get into this, honey. We have the Seven of Swords, the Two of Wands, the Three of Cups with the Six of Pentacles in the reverse. Beautiful, beautiful spread here, Sagittarius, and I'm going to tell you why. Seven of Swords, this is almost this sense of where I feel like for a lot of you Sagittariuses, you haven't really gone out there, right? Um, this is probably going to leak into your social reading as well. Um, but you haven't really gone out there. You haven't opened yourself up to new people, engaged with new people. Seven of Swords lets me know of a situation where it's kind of like flighty, right? You haven't really allowed yourself to really connect personally with someone on an intimate level, I feel. Because Six of Pentacles coming in here. It feels like maybe for a lot of you guys, you always have sink, sunk energy into situations that 
like never really got felt like you got reciprocation for him. So it's kind of like one of those things where you probably have gotten really comfortable being your own best friend, support system, family, you know, all of that stuff, Sagittarius. And so this message is coming in here, Three of Cups with the Two of Wands, darling. And I want to, I suggest to you, Sagittarius, to look up these cards so that way you know I'm not just blowing smoke, right? And you can look at the artwork themselves. Tap back in, Sagittarius, right? Look at this Three of Cups, right? Multiple people. This has been a common theme in your reading, Sagittarius, so where it feels like strongly new people, like with that Page of Cups as well, new people. Two, uh, two of Wands represents contracts and long-term plans. This is literally like, you would take any other tarot reader and this they would see these two this duo and be like oh you're about to get like your soulmate or something like that just to give you some perspective sagittarius um now i don't like to use soulmate and all those like signif uh, signifiers because i don't feel like that's my place to identify that um but that's more so the emphasis i want to put on is like the, there's just new people waiting to come into your life sagittarius and just don't close yourself off be, it's okay to be vulnerable really feel like again it's your time to really make yourself open it's really time for you to just put yourself out there so now sagittarius let's get into your social situation this week let's see what's going on there and so when i say social situation sagittarius i don't mean just romantic right we have family we have platonic friendships we have business connections we have all sorts of things so let's see what's going on there new moon in gemini i forget which other sign got this but the communication is key so uh naturally i feel like this kind of just hones in on my point even more sagittarius y'all probably just like sitting there just like oh that's about just go off the end right um yeah i feel like this is just your point sagittarius to really be as much of a social butterfly as you can i don't want to hear the excuses or where it's just like oh i don't like people valka it's just like honey no one likes people like everyone can say that everyone identifies with being an introvert darling it's 2021 right it's time you're getting such a direct affirmation where you have some really good people trying to come up into your life sagittarius and i really feel like you should allow it eight of wands coming in here but you got to work on this confidence coming in here right work on this confidence let's get in some clarifiers on why this three of wands or eight of wands hierophant in the reverse you're just so afraid of commitment right because of the queen of pentacles in the reverse you're so afraid of really allowing yourself in more people in ten of swords nine of swords this is where all your anxiety is coming in sagittarius oh my baby y'all have some commitment issues don't y'all y'all have some healing to do honey don't y'all right <laughs> this is what it's showing to me i feel like for a lot of you sagittarius is you have this eight of wands insecurity not really wanting to communicate because um whether like i don't know your narrative y'all will know your narrative i don't need to use examples right ten of swords nine of swords is a situation where you have these lingering thoughts constantly of pain again you don't want to be pained and have a bunch of more like a lot more scars that are going to be left leaving you scarred for years on end right queen of pentacles hierophant in the reverse hierophant usually represents higher commitment and listening to your higher self queen of pentacles is someone that feels good with themselves and at peace these two being inverted this is what you associate to like trying to commit anymore you always kind of feel as if it's going to fall flat sagittarius and so i'm here to tell you in the best way that i can honey with some tarot cards that i don't see it in that way for you i don't like it's not in the cards it's showing to me darling that you're going to be having some pain so uh let's close this off one more card nine of pentacles trust in your spear guides at this time sagittarius trust in your spear guides because they're trying to show to you where and i even want to pull out the page of cups again because the nine of pentacles is a powerful message in that this person is listening to their spirit guide on which pen pentacle to pick out right not the biggest one not the most colorful one but they listen to their spirit guide and so it's almost like this message back to the page of cups full circle mo full circle moment darling right here you see this is something that not a lot of people notice but there's some astral hands here so i kind of see this new person coming into your life being presented to you by spirit and that's the cup right so then this card right here come on now come on now Sagittarius, tell me i'm right tell me i'm right honey so <laughs> yeah that is your social reading honey uh, Sagittarius, let's get into your financial and career this week. What is your financial and career situation? What does your financial and career situ situation look like this week? Let's look at it. Let's take a look, darling. Let's see. Let's see. 
we have a new moon, a new start is coming. So definitely Sagittarius, if you have put in your applications, naturally remember I used the example of putting out resumes. I do feel like if you put yourself out there, you have some new opportunities to make some uh, new streams of revenue. I'm not saying this means like a new job entirely. You may just have the opportunity to do other things as well to make some money. Um, definitely this is a very positive sign for my Sagittarius that I've been, you know, on the fence about looking for a new job perhaps. Um, this is all just new energy though. I don't feel like we're going to be tapping into like a current state of things. So let's get some clarifiers. We have the Seven of Cups coming in here. Why is this in the reverse? Why is the Seven of Cups here? So it shows to me like a clear decision. So do you already have an idea, Sagittarius, on what this new start's about? And I'm just coming into the loop, honey. Is this it? I'm seeing two. So let's pull two. Page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is already something that you have like engaged the idea of ace of wands in the reverse you've you've entertained this idea before whatever the start is i feel like you kind of denied it at one point sagittarius where you're just like probably because of your insecurities honey um <laughs> as i said before um where it's like you wanted to do this for so long but there's always that blockage that we talked about darling and so th with this it feels like you're getting another chance at tapping back into this energy or now you're finally stepping into your power for this finally and taking that leap of faith so i really celebrate you for that sagittarius whoever whoever my sagittarius are that are um really trying something out that they really wanted to do for a long time now i see you guys being so happy with it so and i'm really happy for you in that right in that regard Sagittarius. So yeah, that is the tarot reading, tarot, tarot reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. Let me know which cards resonated with you and how they did in your situation. Right? What is opening up for you guys? What is that new start, honey? Um, if you want to have a, if you would like to book a personal private reading with me, Sagittarius, my website is simplyvalka.com. It's linked down in the comments below, along with my social media, Snapchat. Well, not my Snapchat, honey. I don't like Snapchat. Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, all those goods is just simply Valka. And Sagittarius, thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you. If you have any friends that's into tarot or even if they're not so darling send them the zodiac video and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them till next time sagittarius i love you so much bye